Hey, this is Mike Chilton, and I'm here with Joe Murphy at A&M A&M Studios. A&M Studios here in Tampa, Florida, West Tampa. Thank you, thank you. And tell us about the studio a little bit. You just opened this. Uh, uh, just opening up, yeah, built out uh, maybe a year now or so. We're, we're, we had a light opening, as we call it, okay. and, um, but we're up and running. A full audio project studio. Um, we record everything here from full bands doing records and CDs and, and to podcasts to voiceovers. Awesome. And we, we do some teaching here. Uh, we have a guy who teaches vocal lessons and we, do, we have a drum program here for drum lessons and piano lessons. So. We, uh, it's the mothership. Yeah, good, it's the mothership, good. So. Well, I came over to talk to you about drums and geek out with drum Let's books. Let's do it. Let's and, be geeky. And beautiful drums you have here. And, um, Thank you. So, yeah, we're just going to talk videos. about your days at Berkeley, your days us gigging together in Ebor City and in Tampa. And We've known each other a long time. A long yeah. time. So we'll talk about all that. Sure. Beautiful. Already. So you're going to show us that, that syncopation exercise. Sure. Which is the first. That's what made me get this book. And I, know, I don't know if this exercise is in that book, but... When we were talking uh, about like all, all the different ways to use syncopation, mm -hmm. you mentioned this new John right. Ramsey book, Alan Dawson. Um, but you showed me something super cool. Um, yeah, we a little more of a contemporary idea with it, and it's funny because I did this just came to me when you brought up. We were talking about some of the some of the, some of my uh, room, roommates and mm -hmm. guys who I went to school with, and Brian Tishy. Actually, this uh, is something that I heard him talking about that, that this pattern he was doing. Okay, there um, you go. Crash cymbal or ride cymbal floor tom yep. kick drum pattern that kind of emulated a double bass drum feel, but also very tribal. And he had he had he had done this with one of the teachers there, oh, cool. and the teacher's like, "Well, take the triplet feel that you're playing and let's play these syncopation exercises over it." So it was kind of in Brian's wheelhouse, yeah. and there were other guys playing this, but it. It's simply because we on, on the on in doing the jazz application yeah. of the syncopation exercises that everyone was kind of getting from the Alan Dawson studies. Mm -hmm. uh, we turned the book in from those exercises being all eighth notes, quarter right. notes, and eighth notes right. to we, we, we now swung right. the line. Right. So we were playing the first note of the triplet and the and the last note of the triplet and all kinds of variations. And then of course you're re you know you'd reorchestrate it if you were doing the jazz way around the drum set. But the, like I said, this is this was a, this is an ostinato right. that you do and basically in your right side of the of, uh -huh. of body and then you 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 almost solo or in this case we're, right. we're reading the lines in syncopation so it's kind of like a Terry Bozio yeah I guess so yeah I mean it's more melodic it's definitely drum solo like yeah. but it's um you know it, it's, it's super fun I remember you showed it to me I went home and like or to my yeah rehearsal right. studio and and did this for a while. It but it's a little infectious the, when you get the oh, groove, especially if like if you turn the snare the, the snare bed off and it right. gets it becomes very tribal and very tom tom like yeah. it's it's kind of cool. Can you play so. some of that? Sure, absolutely. Sure, sure. Sure. So how that that pattern that you were just doing there? Okay. Can you can you break down what you're doing on the, the right so side? So the right side of the of the body is basically the most basic part, mm -hmm. which is kind of funny, is doing this. That's the most anchor point of okay. it. Okay. So and then from that point, shuffle shuffle the foot. So okay. play the first note of the triplet and the last note of the triplet. So. Okay. Shuffle real yeah, quickly. Yeah. So, so we go from here. Okay. So then, what would be the most 
syncopated part of this right. would be right after the first note of the triplet, we play the middle note of the triplet. Okay. So that fills it up. So you'd be going. So if you're playing, if you're playing the right some quarter notes, you go one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, right? One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. So that's the ostinato. That's gotcha. that's it. So now to add the left hand, and you don't have to just, you, you can just feel sure. feel a triplet feel in your left hand. So yeah. you don't have to read this. We're reading the line uh, in, a, in kind of in a jazz style. Mm -hmm. We're tripleting it. So, but your left hand can really just, if, if you're not, if you don't have the book, you're not reading it, just just solo a bit in your left hand. With th think, think triplets. That's right. Gotcha. <laughs> or if you really want to push it, you know, you know modulate it. But right. we're, we're just letting triplets flow okay. and sort of solo in a mm -hmm. Alan Dawson jazz kind yeah. of. Pattern and this is killer game. coordination. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, once your right side is doing this as a right-handed drummer, yeah. once you once the ostinato is happening, it's it's you put that obviously on autopilot. Yeah. So you know, I use I use it for a lot of stuff. I mean, I'll, I'll play beats where I'll just play the back beat like a halftime, zip it, you know, like I did in the thing. So, but as an exercise, yeah, your left hand, you, the book, the line is. That's so. stuck in Dustin's head from last week. Is it Paige? We, we, filmed, yeah. we filmed some more lessons of this. Okay, yeah, absolutely. As we're packing up, he's like, bop, 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 yeah. bop. Yeah, yeah that's, that's <laughs> that. There's one other cool thing we did. This was, Somebody showed me how to do a, uh, a funk application, if you want to hear it real quick. Yes, and you, this, yep, yeah, exactly. We might, we I might forgot have this, on this one, yeah. So this is the this short is, and longs, right? The short and longs, yeah. So, um, so you read, you, now we go from a triplet feel to a 16th note feel. Okay. There are, we have eighth notes and quarter notes. So we play, we, we play, um, the figures is very. This is a deep one, but we played okay. anything that happens on beats one and three, whether it be you know the one, the E, the and or the uh. Okay. We play that on the kick drum. Okay. And whatever happens on beat three, three E and or the uh, we play that also on the kick drum. Anything okay. what happens in the transcription there in the in the rhythm. Sure. Anything that happens on the two, the E, the and or the uh, we, we play that in snare drum land, and the four, the E, the and and the uh, also on the snare drum. Gotcha. So now you have you have purposely you have. Conversation. You've got kick drum, nice. snare drum, kick okay, drum, snare drum. Gotcha. So now, and to make it further deeper, we would play a sticking. Right out of stick control. Okay. This might be number six yeah, on the first exactly. page. Yeah. So that would be like, so the, so the sticking is your anchor point. So you're playing that, and of course, I'm accenting the two and the four here. One, two, three, one. If you just did one and three, one, yeah, three, yeah. So it's cool beat by itself. Yep. So then we go back. We we go back and try to confuse ourselves with, uh -huh. with syncopation one more time. So now we read the line. So there's an there's an eighth note and there's a quarter note. So we're gonna play those one E up, one E and up. Okay. So what was a triplet? Yeah. Which is the first and the last part of the triplet. We're now feeling sixteenths. Now is the first is the one and the then the dot is the dotted eighth sixteenth. Okay. Five. Okay. Gotcha. So one E and up. Okay. okay. So one E and up, two E and up. Okay. So gotcha. now, so now we put that sticking. Uh, and it just goes on and on. So yeah. it's pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Exercise, so. yeah. So, so you got it's got to write out. There's about three. There's about four rules to follow, and then it, it works for you. So, okay. So deviating from from the jazz exercises okay. or the triplet felt exercises. Yeah. Uh, an exercise was shown to me that um, is a little bit deeper. But we now go into a 16th note feel. Feel. Okay. So um, and this was applied as a, a, a funk exercise. Okay. So now instead of like you pointed out, instead of reading the the first note of the triplet and the last note of the triplet, mm -hmm. now we are reading the first note 
of, of a grouping of four sixteenth notes, okay. the first note and the last note. Okay. So, or, or as we like to call the dotted eighth sixteenth. Gotcha. So, one E and a two E and a three E and a three, which is always a great beat. Yeah. Why that always grooves, I don't know, but one E and a two E and a three. Yeah. So what we're going to do with that is we're going to, on, on the page uh, in syncopation, this is page 34, anything that happens on beat one, we're going to play on the kick drum. Anything that happens on beat two, we're going to play on the snare drum. Same thing for beats three and four. So one and three on the kick drum, okay. two and four on the snare drum. Okay. Gotcha. So uh, in this exercise, the very first uh, measure, it, you notice we have two notes. We have a, now it's an eighth, it's an eighth and a, and a sixth. Okay. No, I'm sorry, an eighth and a quarter. Okay. But we're, we're going to interpret that as one e and a. Uh, gotcha. Right. Okay. So now we have a rest here, right? Um, two. Right. So we're going to play the uh. uh one e and a two e and a. Uh. Oh, gotcha. Okay. okay. One e and a two e and a uh, b and a four. Okay, and you now look, you could take other sticking exercises, mm -hmm. but then so then you grab stick control and you grab some exercises. One that seems to work is this. feel already sure. the dotted yep. 16. So we put that together a little bit. So just to read exercise one, that's that's each measure is repeating itself. So Gotcha. Okay, so now that, that makes, Does that, makes sense okay. to me now. Yeah. Yeah. That one always threw me when you showed that. It's a lot of things to remember on that one. It, yeah. It, yeah. It, it wasn't easy to learn. I mean, really, it's the thing you tinkered around with it for hours. But when, once you, once it really was, like I said, you got the sticking pattern. Let's make sure that we got the sticking pattern. Okay. We, 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 it's the right pattern. What am I playing? Right, left, left, right, left. So it's right, left, 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 right. So I think that's five or six in stick control. I'm not okay, sure. Yeah. So but it's like uh, an inverted paradigm. Right. Right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, right, and so on. Got and that's it. what kind of gives you, because you got the right of the dot of the dot of the dot of the one in, a two in, a three in, and a four is the outline yep. of that. So, I have that feel started, you know. So, and you just go with it. I mean, nice. Learn the left hand to re orchestrate it around the kid. You know awesome. I mean? So, because I wouldn't, when, when, when years ago when you showed me that, I was thinking, that you put your snare on two and four. Like, well, oh, like a, like a... Yeah. Okay, I see what you're doing now. Let, 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 let the snare drum read the line and sure. the kick drum read the line. Okay, yeah. And instead of, you know, so instead of this, you know... That being, that being your ostinato, this, your ostinato now is... I won't even do it with the accent, but it's simply... The accents are going to change. Automatic, like Steve Gadland. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's 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 Garibaldi. not a linear thing yeah, because yeah. it's um, we are playing. It's a layered pattern, like mm -hmm. a Garibaldi thing. Yeah. But it's yeah, it's definitely um, funky. And, I mean, you could you could use these groups. They, yeah, these are absolutely. these are groups you could go out on the bandstand yeah. and in that funk exactly. world genre, you you could play them. So, I mean, they're busy. We're filling in, you know, yeah. we're filling in all the subdivisions. Yeah. So we've we've got a lot going on, but they they'll find their and that's what's cool about finding stuff that will work. Sure. As as uh, like we were talking about, yeah. trying to. Be, be drum wisdom mm -hmm. and knowing everything. I mean, there's so much stuff we can't play on the bands. But it's, it's, it's cool to find stuff like this that you can shed and increases your reading ability and making you think um, um, more 3D on the kit or sure. more multiple layers yeah. and, um, and be able to use it on the gig as well. So, yeah, very yeah. nice. Well, cool, so, thank you. Yeah, this is great. We could yeah. talk all day. I know, dude. I know. Do you want, you want to play?